everybody, I'm Caroline Gao in the Baird & Warner Glenbrook office and welcome to this new to market property. Here I am at 1328 Wesling Drive in Northbrook. We're in District 27, so home of the Hickory Point Bulldogs, Shaboni Dolphins, Wood Oaks Wildcats, and the, the Glenbrook North Spartans. So come on in, follow me, we'll do a walkthrough tour and feel free to chime in if you'd like me to take a look at something else or back up or slow down. If you have any questions I'm the listing agent this listing is brand new it was put on the market on Friday afternoon and I'm excited to show it to you so let's take a look we'll come on inside first we'll do the we have a brand new roof here Got some lovely landscaping, and we're in the middle of this neighborhood street here. Okay, so you walk in the foyer. And then this to the left is the living room. Let me try to... And this is looking out to the east. And this opens up to the nice dining room. Here we go. This is the updated kitchen here. We have granite countertops, lovely cabinetry. The appliances are newer. We have gas stove, the built-in microwave. And a nice eat-in area overlooking the pretty yard. Japanese maple right there and the owner sleeping so I'll show you outside it's a perfect day to go out and take a look at the deck and the fountain and all the pretty perennials and then right in here is the laundry room there's plenty of storage cabinets there's a sink more cabinets and a door out Hi, Vanessa, how are you doing? Am I going too fast or can you see okay? So this is looking east towards the front door. And then to the right here is the basement. To the left is the powder room. And then into the family room, we have hardwood peg floors, a gas burning fireplace with French doors out to the nice deck. There's somebody here. Well, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing here. Let's go on out to the uh, deck. We've got the fountain. 
So this is four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's got a full finished basement. And what is unique to this model in Huntington is the basement is actually a full finished basement with an extra office or exercise room. Whereas other models like this usually just have a partial basement. All right, I wanna back up so that you can see the roof was put on a couple weeks ago brand new the deck was recently painted and it's got some nice perennials I'm going to walk out to the front and see who's at the door. It might be a showing that was supposed to be here earlier. We've had a lot of showings this weekend. It was just put up on Friday and it's an affordable price range for Northbrook. Who... Hi, I'm doing a, I'm doing a live walkthrough right now. It's a virtual open house. Oh, virtual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you can log on to that page on the MLS that you have, you'll see me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, these days we're doing virtual open house, especially if the owner is still living here. Um, maybe we'll do that in person, maybe in a couple weeks. But um, the nice thing about the virtual open house is that I can save it. And future buyers that might want to take a look can look at the recording too. Okay, so I'm going to walk on upstairs. There is hardwood under the carpet, and this is brand new carpet as well. And we go to the right up the stairs and is then to the master. And we're looking out east. <clears throat> and the master bedroom has this nice set of closets. Two of them here and then into the master bath. The tile floor and then this tile in the bathroom surround is all brand new nice and neutral and this house has been very well maintained so it's pristine and ready to move in if you prefer hardwood there's hardwood all the way through here you can pull up the carpet no problem some of the rooms are already exposed wood and here in the bathroom this is the main bath for the other three bedrooms it's got Nice, neutral. And new tile in this bathroom too. In today's modern colors, right? And we have a linen closet, storage space. And this bedroom faces east. So three of the bedrooms face east. This one has the hard wood. So I would guess that most of the floors in here look that same way. And we have a ceiling fan with a light fixture. The rooms have been freshly painted in this modern gray. That's what we're seeing a lot of. So it should match a lot of your stuff. And this one has a nice big closet.
with double doors here. And if you're not familiar with Huntington, um, I'm not gonna go in this bedroom. We're similar to the other ones. Okay, let's take you down to the basement. If you're not familiar with Huntington, okay, I'm heading down to the basement. <laughs> okay, uh, Huntington offers Flamingo Fridays. That's where you put your Flamingo on the end of the driveway and then People know that the neighbors are having a party and you hang out on the driveway. And then we have a block party in September. And it's very close to Wood Oaks Park and Wood Oaks Junior High. Where's the other way? So this is a nice feature down here because it's got a ton of space, room for the TV. And in this closet is the sump pump, the battery backup. So you can have room here if you want to put your Peloton. Um, here we have the wine fridge an extra bar space under the stairs. And this is the extra room. So normally the basement ends here, but this house has this extra room. So the owners were using it as an office, but you could use this as a playroom, an extra size room or more storage. But it's very versatile. It's carpet down here. There haven't been any water issues, so no flooding problems. Long time owners, <clears throat> very well maintained. And then in here is the back end of the furnace room. There's a main door this way. Oh, sorry, I thought this was on. Where's my light? Oh, it's out here. Forgot. Okay. Okay. So, so you have lots of storage in here. Everybody likes storage. You can never have enough, right? <laughs> it's all labeled and ready to move. And then these built-in shelves can stay if you like them. Uh, over here, the furnace, the AC, and I will tell you the dates. I know the hot water heater was just replaced. And the electric panel is actually up in the laundry is then up in the laundry room on the first floor, and that was replaced. It's a 2020 amp. And I want to show you the floor plan because I think it helps. One of the things that I think is really important when I'm out with buyers, even before we go and look at the house, they want to see the uh, floor plan because then if they're looking for a specific thing, they can. Um, they can know ahead of time. So if you see here, so this, this is facing east. Okay. Walk in. Here's the living room. And then around to the dining room. And I'm standing in the kitchen looking out on the breast breakfast room. And then the laundry is here. There's a little closet and a door out. And then back this way to the powder room we saw and the family room, out through the French doors to the deck, and then this is facing west. Back to the main door as the stairs going up. Uh, I didn't show you the garage. Let's go do the garage. So the garage has a new main spring and the floor was recently painted and it's all freshened up. The walls were recently done.
And if you noticed from the front, this is actually a side load garage, which I really like because then the front of the house isn't all garage door. So the upstairs is the typical four bedrooms on the second floor. And you go up the stairs. To the right is the master bedroom. And it has its own master suite. Then the main bath here, and then three bedrooms. So the largest of the extra bedrooms is 16 by 12. 12 by, four, uh, 12 by 13, and then the smallest is actually 10 by 11. Uh, the taxes here are 8,000 with the homeowner's discount and the senior discount. And the square footage of this house is 2255. It's the standard model that we have here in Huntington. There are about five models here. Uh, what else can I tell you? Do you have any questions? Do you want me to take a look at anything? I'm going to go out the front door again and show you the outside front. It's got nice curb appeal. It's a nice big yard. It's kind of an odd shape because it's on a little curve here. But I'm looking out towards the mailbox. So when you drive up, side load there. This crab apple tree was really nice in the spring, blooming a few weeks ago. going to tell you what some of the other dates are so that you have an idea. Okay. Right, so in addition to some of the painting that we've done, there's also some new light fixtures. Um, the furnace and AC are about 12 years old. The hot water heater was put in 2019. Um, the main, there are two sump pumps. There's a main sump pump. That was 2017. And there's another one that was 2015. We talked about the 200 amp, 220 amp. And there's also, if you needed to put an electric dryer down in the basement, it also has an electric dryer hookup. But there's a gas hookup upstairs here on the main floor in the laundry room. Uh, let's see, and yep, we saw the outside, of course, the brand new roof. There were some gutters replaced on the back. The other gutters are in good shape, and there's a concrete driveway. So this house is 525,000, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, and we'd love to show it to you. So if you have any questions, send me a private message. I'd be happy to set up a separate showing just for you, and I'd love to work with you. So thanks for watching, and have an enjoyable day. Bye.